Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's going on? We're going to play this. Uh, this is Alila. Is that how you pronounce this? Alela? Alila? 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 We're going to play Artful Pro Provocateur dot deck here. We have four of these bad boys. Flying, Death Touch, and Lifelink. It's basically a four mana Vampire Nighthawk. Other creatures of flying get plus one, plus oh, which is great with our Thopter Spy Networks, which I suggested. Don't. This is a deck submitted by Josh. Josh VS. Classic. Classic stream supporter. And if you guys didn't know, for 30 bucks, I'll do any deck critique this month until the end of the year. So, um, yeah. And then we have two Raft Capuchins, so we can cast all of our artifacts slash legendary creatures at instant speed. Um, and then the other the other ability on this is whenever you cast an artifact or enchantment, make a 1-1 one -one with flying. So, basically, it's going to trigger off of all of these things. Uh, these things these things and these things so all all 21 of these cards it won't trigger off dark still citadel unfortunately because you're not casting that but uh, we also have emery um emery also says cast so you can't be hitting dark steel citadels and kind of ramping and uh, but you can cast like your glass caskets or your treasure maps or your hope hope of gear purrs things like that you also have tezzeret which is one of my the the josh was like give me a bunch of cards to brew around uh for pioneer and so I went through the list of legendaries, and Alila and uh, Tezzeret were both on my list that I gave him. So here we are. So I'm I'm looking forward to playing this. I have no idea if it's going to be good because I can't tell from just looking at it. But it looks sweet. Signal Pest. I like it. <laughs> Sorry, pills are making typing a bit hard. <laughs> Love the six mana black white enchantment in the Grage sideboard <laughs> he's like i didn't mean grage i meant sideboard all right let's join let's do it let's do it to it and get on through it all right oatmeal i think you're doing i think you're right in the good the good zone mm. is this spirit again i don't know I realize Gearpur is legendary. Yes, I also realize Raph is legendary. Alila's is legendary. Tezzeret's legendary. Emery's legendary. There's a, there's a lot of legendary creatures in the deck. I'll keep this in. That's life, man. It's also a 1-1 one -one that crews Smuggler's Copter. And um, triggers Thopter Foundry. It triggers Alila. It does pretty much everything you want. So sometimes you just kind of take a risk. Uh, we have nothing here, so we're just going to play Hollowed Fountain. What is this hashtag oatmeal that we're doing, guys? What are we doing with this hashtag oatmeal? Are we making that the command? Oh, that's fantastic. That's good. Man, that's a solid command. Ooh. Oh, wow. Let's do that. Oh, she only costs two? I was like, is my land going to untap? We didn't hit any artifacts whatsoever messed up oh yeah uh, we can get rid of a Tez oh we should have played treasure map first then we played this for one yeah that was pretty bad see this is what it is this is why you gotta practice with the decks we figured it out though we just did it too late Thank you. Thanks for accepting my Facebook request. Kyrus, thank you so much for the for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I appreciate you. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, we will take the one, two, three. Oh, I gotta pay a black, huh? Okay. And then we gotta call this thing. Hmm. Yeah, this is fine. There's no reason not to crew with this, so. Oh yeah, put the copter in the in the trash can. Oh, uh, it is not a baby spoon. It is just a metal spoon. It is just a metal, a plain metal spoon. I like. I'm a simple man. I like simple spoons. Spurs are in third place. Yeah, this is like the perfect mox deck. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that guy has reach. Twenty-five lands. I could see cutting one land for at least one mox. And maybe one hope of gear per for another mox. I could actually see that. That seems good. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. Big money grip with the gifted subs. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate you. You are awesome, my dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The only thing is that hope doesn't turn on Mox. Oh, because it's not. It's colorless, right? That's why you take one out for the. Thank you. So we could Tezzeret. This guy doesn't have trample, which is nice. If you control three or more artifacts, we have Thank you. one artifact. Cast an artifact. We can play. Cast a smuggler's copter from the graveyard. And a treasure map. I kind of like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fried chicken is here later. Ch wow, that's aggressive. I'm pretty sure I can just attack with the uh, with the Alella here. They just took it. And they were like, no. Nah. I just don't know how we deal with cards like this. Like, I don't know if we want... I don't think we want Glass Casket and Fatal Push, because they're kind of doing the same thing. I think we need something to deal with bigger things. Mm -hmm. I do like Mortify. I like Anguished on making either but even better actually. Because Anguished on making can actually get rid of uh things like Ugin or or Ulamog, which is huge. Take push out Mox.
Utter End. Utter End, four mana. I think I'd rather go with the three mana, even though it takes us, it deals some damage to us. Thank you. Buttershoot, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Okay. I believe that was your turn. We can work it night by night. Um, I'm going to bottom this. I'm going to bottom that too. And now if it's a land or a spell, we can probably cast it. Huh. Is it just worth playing other Emery for one mana? Ooh, Hope of Gearper is interesting. Unfortunately, we cannot act. We can't. We can't play it this turn. Hmm. We deal ten here. They pretty much have to play Ulamog next turn. Or Ugin. Which they, I'm sure they have. There's like eight of them in the deck. Spatial contortion. Sure. Well, now I'm actually less incentivized to attack because it's f five less damage. So now they only take five. Yeah, that's pretty bad. And we don't have to mana to play this again. So yeah, we're just going to pass here. pretty rough. Why can't you be a 2-4? Or 3-4? Guys, this oatmeal's almost done. This is fine. It's not great. <laughs> this deck is just so unfun to play against. I think there's just not enough answers for an Ugin or a or an Ulamog. Like you, you have a format where like you're trying to. Yep. I guess we could have crewed there in, in response, but I don't think I don't see us blocking. No attacks. Jeez. Bottom. <laughs> Glass caskets are rough sometimes. Um, one, two, three, four. Draw two. Yeah, and Alila just dies to to Ugin, unfortunately. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. I I mean, they have an Ulamog in hand. Nothing we can play is really going to be better than that. Dovin's Vetoes. Pithing Needle on Ugin seems good. Push can go. All the Glass Caskets can go. Hostage Taker is pretty interesting. I mean, we can get... Alvenwald Hydra, maybe. But it's better than anything else on the sideboard, so. Yeah, this seems okay. We can work it night by night. Though I pretty much only play control, so disregard me. Summary dismissal is like four mana exile a card, right? Um, 
I like this hand even without blue. Do I? On the play? Ashiok does stop them from searching their library, doesn't it? That's actually pretty insane. Had I remembered that, I would have actually definitely boarded Ashiok's in. That's the secret mode on Ashiok. I, as you guys know, I have a terrible time remembering the uh, static abilities. I think we're going to mulligan this hand. Okay. Keep this. With a Tezzeret's touch in hand, we can get rid of one Drowned Catacombs. Yeah, they're not an aggressive deck, so I'm just going to take two for the extra point. It might make a difference at one point. I might actually want to put it on the, the Hope of Gearper instead, just because uh, it lets us play this on three and attack, and it lets us play this on four and attack. So I'm not actually entirely sure that putting it on... Let's see if he remembers that has a reach. I'll test you. Okay. Look at my body at work this evening. Do I seem precise to you? Wow. I mean, Tezzeret's Touch goes back to your hand. When the artifact's put in the graveyard return, you, like, you get the card back. Not Tezzeret's Touch, but the, the artifact, I meant. Oh, I get to eat that, dude. Not a desert, not a desert, not a desert, desert. Great. The one time they have a desert. And they're going to be able to go turn three. Hour of promise. Oh, this is pilgrimage. Man, Ashok would be doing some work here if we had an Ashok. Why not both? <laughs> not enough artifacts to support it? That's interesting. I don't know how that's true. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, plus whatever artifacts Thopter Spy Network or Tezzeret make. 15, 6, like, I don't, that seems. Unless you meant not enough artifacts to support both, in which case, yeah, that's probably accurate. Oh, they returned our guy to nature. Well, that's sad. Yeah, see, like, even if they didn't, uh, even if we put it on the Dark Steel Citadel, they could still get rid of the Tezzeret's touch by doing that. Uh, the fairy does care about the artifacts and enchantments, so by casting Tezzeret's Touch or any of the artifacts, it will get day 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> Was that 6 mana? 7-8 mana? Yeah, I love this deck. I absolutely fucking love this deck. I'm... Yeah, that's great. That's great. We have no way to deal with that ever, so... Absolutely in love with this green Devotion deck. I'm probably just not going to play Magic Maw anymore. 
if they see them in the queue. Um, I guess that is an option for now until they just play. Um, it's just the worst option ever. Uh, Ugin the Spirit Dragon. One, two, Treasure Map Arena. Hope of Gear. All right. Well, no cards in hand against their three cards. So we'll see. I don't know. I just, like I said, I don't think, like I was saying, I don't think there's enough answers in the format for a card like Ugin. Like, you just have bad counter spells. There's not a lot of great counter spells in this format that cost less than three. <laughs> Dove and Speedo. Ain't that something. All right, we'll try that. We're still attacking Ugin because I really don't feel like having them return to nature our Pithing Needle and having Ugin like ultimate the next turn, so. Oh, it's a little grazer. I was drawing a card at Seagate Wreckage here. Okay. Okay. I believe you. I don't know why they don't attack more frequently. Like, they can't block anything with this. Why aren't you just attacking with it? Hmm. I don't think I care about that right now, to be honest with you. We could put it on a clue token. talking to Chris the other day and she was a woodsend and said to me Chris if you don't stop quoting Harry Belafonte I'm leaving and I was like okay I believe you wow sounds like a real jump in the line situation if you ask me I don't think it's good enough That's worse. Well, well, well. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Okay, I believe you. Ten ten with reach. Solid. Yeah, that dude does not have trample. That dude. The ramp decks in this format do seem nuts. I agree with you. I just don't think our deck has a way to get, get past this guy, to be quite honest. I, it just I think we just have to go to the next game here. Or the next match rather, because like we have nothing we can do against it. Okay. So I think I think the raft might be too cute. I think we need to be proactive about the things we play. 
Uh, I think we can cut one glass casket, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, we do have Noxious. That's probably it, though. Is there anything else that we can play that's like Noxious, Carol? What is this? What do these Tezzerets do? Create a Theorem token. Plus X, negative X is interesting. I said I didn't want him if I if I, I mean I didn't say I didn't say I did I didn't say I didn't want him. Okay. Let's not let's not let's not get it twisted. Creatures and planeswalker spells you have affinity for artifacts. Has her master of the bridge deals X damage each opponent where X is the number of artifacts you control and you gain X life. This is a solid win condition, man. Plus two. What if we had one of this dude? Is there any good artifact ramp in this format? I feel like there's not. Really, you want this? You want this one ethereal guidance? You want these eight equestrian skills? You know what? Knock yourself out. If this is more than like 50 cents. Three tickets? Are you friggin' kidding me? I hate that this one searches for Master of Metal and not Master of the Bridge. What's Master of Metal do? Reveal cards from the top of your library and save an artifact. Put it into your hand and the rest in the bottom. Okay. Target opponent loses life equal to the number of artifacts you control. Negative three. Target opponent loses life equal to half the... Loses life equal to the number of artifacts you control. Plus two, this deals damage to each opponent where X is the number of artifacts you control, and you gain X life. So, like, this is a five loyalty swing difference between these two cards. For not only is it a different effect, like, not only is it a similar effect, this one you also gain life and it deals it to each opponent. Yeah, that's just terrible. How many tickets do I have? Let's figure it out. Oh, and that's not... This is not my stuff. 147? Okay. The things I do. I think one is fine. I'll swing you for five. Wow, that's aggressive. Now you're just being... Now you're just being crazy. Look at this. One Master of La Bridge. Also, this guy puts... Let's just play... Let's just Tezzeret it out. Tezzeret it out. I don't know if the Mox is as good anymore, but we're going to find out. It's still a card. You can just pop in the graveyard and play it. But I was like, geez, that's just aggressive. Yeah, I don't know, man. I want to jump in here, but I don't want to, like, I want to make sure I have some control over who I'm playing against. I don't want to play against Green Ramp again. I just don't. I think the deck is extremely strong because, like, you just... <sighs> Ulamog and Emrakul, man. Or Ugin. <sighs> oh, stretched. Unless no one wants to join the Pioneer queue.
Join the Pioneer queue. Come on in, let's play some artifacts. I don't ever want to be under the bridge that day. Oh, ceremony direction seems nice in the sideboard. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't counter the the cast trigger of of Ula Smog. I'm gonna keep this hand, and we're gonna see how it goes. I don't ever want to feel. I'd like my own solemn vow and download MTGO, buy all the cards, and jam out if you deem to. Dude, I would never ask you to do that. That is a solid investment, my friend. Like I did that day. Huh. I'm very convincible. I'm, I was also thinking of Metallic Rebuke. I don't ever want to feel like Mac B that day. Wall of Lost Thing. Thoughts. Thing thoughts. Well, that's fascinating. I guess I'll glass casket it. Right? Are they just milling us? Do I care about this? And I feel like it's it's actually worse if like they get it back somehow. Let's you tap them for me. What are you guys saying right now? The card that gives all non artifacts and spot. Oh, I see. I know what you. I know what you're saying. No, it's not really a control deck. You're definitely. Uh, you're definitely tapping out most turns. Oh boy. Oh boy. God, you know I'd kill for an artifact version of Oblivion Ring here. I know a 10 letter word that's always spelled incorrectly. Definitely. Welp. I guess I need a blue for that. Okay. Karn is good too. I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. Okay. You mill two. Then you draw two, or then you mill two more. Then 
Don't tom scar me, bro. It's like a shitty tom scar. Shitty, it's a better creature. Mm, yes. Yep. That's good. That is good. We're gonna we're gonna self mill here. Uh, you get an emblem at the beginning of the turn, beginning of combat on your turn. You have five. I don't think we can win this game. It's the story of my life, I think. The old Frank. I don't think we can win this game, old poor, huh? A classic. We just have to hope they don't mill us for f 24 cards next turn, I guess. Like, I have no interest in playing Emery here. Don't mill me for 23 cards. Oh. Cool. Well, that's... 20. Cool. <laughs> oh, Vito, Vito. So all these different score characters in the search of library. Okay. Lost trigger doesn't take enchantments, no enchantments, no enchantments, no enchantments. Okay, well. Well The problem is with this format, like you don't have the broken things that are happening in modern that went on like turn four and five. So you have a bunch of decks that are able to dirtle until around until like turn six or seven and just kill you. And take all the glass caskets, I guess. Oh, I will keep this hand. Alpex take us some bomb mac and cheese. Well, it's no Subway mac and cheese, that's for sure. That was a good draw. Look, I'm doing your job for you. Four lands, huh? Okay. I don't actually hate that with the... Uh... You fatal push this? Okay, return it to my hand. And of course, mill me. I never know how to tap my lands correctly. I 
My computer broke and the app doesn't support Prime Summit. Can you use uh, the browser on your phone? Your kid's stuff on the screen to the to your phone or to your computer? Well, mill me for eight. Long ago, if none of this sounds good, my dude. This is all terrible. Seems good. Mill me for another 11. Jesus Christ. I feel like we're dead. I'm going to say no. <laughs> smarter than me. I do what I can, man. I do what I can, buddy. Top seven. That's 14. And... Cool. This format is frustrating. More anguish. A were? No, because we don't have enough artifacts to search for. Uh, well, I see what you're saying. Add more, add more artifacts. I got you. Um, another anguish done making. Take out one casket. I don't know if I like Hope of Gerper in the deck. I know it's good for artifacts, but I don't think it does enough. There's also Banishing Light. Banishing Light also deals with things. Hmm. Is that better than unmaking here? Maybe. Triggers this. Y'all got that hope of Gerper? <laughs> oh, Lord. This guy, am I right? So let's add one more of these, put it in the sideboard. I definitely want to have an ac access to that. I think Karn's Temporal Sundering is cute, but I don't know if it does enough. Same thing with Ethereal Absolution. I don't know if there's decks who really care about these yet. Um... Next turn up to one turn, not creature artifact. Okay, so that's not great. So we are looking at the other card. Oh my god, there's two draft boys in the chat right now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What up, draft boys? Thank you. Oh my god, Lamagoyf, thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate the effort you put in. You are the hero that we need. You have Hexproof. A creature really does for one. Yeah, it's meh. Five mana for that trash, though. The Mox Amber might not be great. How many cards are actually triggering Mox Amber? Only uh, Emery as well. So only these. Twelve.
Uh, Sun Droplet is not legal. No, that shit was way back in the day. That was some Mirrodin level. Mirrodin level nonsense. Uh, three hopes aren't going to turn on because it says add one man of any color among legendary creatures and planeswalkers. So, you know. Hmm. I want to cut one Tezzeret's touch. I don't think we have enough things. Copter's good. Copter's good. So I like the banishing lights. I think that's helpful. <laughs> Llama Gwyf, have a good night, buddy. Hope you get some sleep. I just don't like these. I think they're good with this, but that's pretty much it. I'm wondering if there's a better option. Because it's just like, as far as power level of the cards go, like, this is super low. He's all right now. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. The dad jokes are real. Bomat? We can't even act it. We can't even crack a Bomat courier. All right. I'm going to take the hopes out. I'm going to look up artifact creatures. I want creatures. And see if there's any good ones for, like, two mana. Okay? This is what we're doing. We're going deep here, boys. Uh, colors, colorless, mana CMC equal to two, legal in pioneer, and creature. Oh, Yoshin Soldier, that's a good one. It's not a good one, it's actual trash. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want colorless, I want, I want artifact. Pipeline artifact, okay. Because it was showing me all these like blue Eldrazi's and shit, and I'm like, no, dude. Oh, I do like Serpent. Scrap Heap Scrounger is also interesting. What about Steel Overseer? Puts counters on Smuggler's Copter. Puts counters on... Uh, I guess not those. The Thopter Spy Networker tokens. This, this guy. Scrap Heap Scrounger is another I was considering, but I don't know if we're aggressive enough for a Scrap Heap Scrounger. Steel Oversee, I wonder if it's good enough. <clears throat> Let's find out. That's what we're here for. Mox Amber seems ambitious. So four, eight, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Four. Hmm. Four glacials, four drowns, four, three hollowed. Let's go with the fourth hollowed, and we'll take out one dark steel. <clears throat> and we have one more card. Um. I mean, we have pithing on the sideboard. I don't think we need pithing needle and revoker. It's funny because we haven't faced any decks that we really want Glass Casket for. I think it's just 
Maybe just... Oh, sh stop. Stop. Just wait. Why are you... Oh, because they're all in the cyber now. I think we just go four banishing lights. Detention sphere is in this format. Oh, God. See, this is what I mean. Like, it's so... It's actually problematic to figure out what's in the format. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's for sure correct. Oh, Detention Sphere is gas. Precursor Golem. Luke, it was hard to take you seriously, though, because I, I think you're all drugged up, my dude. So, you know, I was having a hard time really... really I, was, I wasn't really hearing you, you know what I mean? Just kidding. Four. I'm looking for cards right now that have the text artifact on them. Uh, that are blue, black, white, green, or colorless. At most of these colors that cost four. We're doing a little looky-loo. Okay, let's go five. I think we might want a five drop here. There are no five drops? Oh, it's, it, oh, it changed my settings. Okay. White, blue, black. At most these colors. Hmm. Hmm. What about Cataclysmic Gear Hulk here? Interesting. Hmm. Fascinating. I could just see adding one more treasure map, I guess. I do like creatures, though, because I want people to, like... Maybe we play one more Thopter Network. I mean, it's a lot of... All of our... All 13 of these are artifacts. All right, I'm adding one more. Wait. I don't think we put 50... <sighs> I think we still have 14 cards on our sideboard. Yep. Oh well. Uh, nope. Don't want to drop that. Let me close some of these other windows. Pow, 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 pow. Okay. Yes, I will play first. Yeah. Okay. It's got all our colors. I think our. I think as long as we have our colors, we're in. Katie, good evening. Good evening. Katie just got free dinner. The power went out in the restaurant and they were like, all right, peace out. That's gotta be so shitty for restaurants. They're like, oh, well, everyone who eats here is free, I guess. I feel like we're still over steering here. I hope they don't go witches witches oven. Chat, listen to the sweet story. Oh damn, Frank ruined it. <laughs> Did I ruin it? Oh no, dude. Oh dang it. Biscuits. Man, I am terrible, dude. 
Oh, Smuggler's Copter, eh? Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty cool. It was our table and one other table in the restaurant because there's a snow pock. Wait. Oh, there's only two people in the restaurant. Oh, that's pretty good then. They're probably like, well, what can we do? I'm already liking this detention sphere. I did. I did it. It's bad and janky and it looks fun as hell. All right. This thing looks sweet. Oh, a classic. I would have paid for it to smell about a small business. How do you know it wasn't like Outback Steakhouse, my dude? Oh, good. Graveyard shenanigans. Yeah, if I had to pay cash, I'd be like, here's $13. All right, he did. I guess we'll glass casket that guy because we can also play treasure map. Are you saying Outback doesn't even know? No, I'm saying that they're not a small business. And then I would feel less bad about getting a, a deal at the Outback. Okay, well. Sometimes you just have mono scrap heap scroungers and smugglers copter attacks. Katie, Spectral Links is Jake. Just so you know. For a limited time. <laughs> Why don't we cast an artifact or enchantment spell? Well, biscuits. God, they always want these specific colors. I need a blue mana. Okay, buddy. But I'll pretend he didn't so you could at least have that story. God, I'm really good at telling stories. Maybe I just communicate with people better, okay? Gosh. What's the third mode on Phyrexian Scriptures? Like exile all the all the dirt bags from the graveyards? I do kind of like scriptures. This smuggler's copter is a real horse's ass. What is the blue one that does ancient stirrings twice? Uh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, Mishra's... Ugh, ugh. Uh, Antiquities War. Nailed it. But he did not nail it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put that on top. Watch this. Oh, we might be we might be going ham here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just gonna draw the card. C -c -c casket Oh, ham salad. Oh, Y'all make me feel so good now. Guys, look what we're doing. Yes. I will attack you for two. Got a lifelink too? We're coming back, guys. We're making... Don't call it a comeback because... Hi back to her.
Look at all these enchantments that we just drew. Unbelievable. Some people have all the luck. Katie, did you say happy birthday back to Melanie? Uh, who is apparently Sean Crawford's sister. So, uh, that was part of the deal, I believe. So, Just get in here with both. What are you going to do? I'm going to eat. What's the problem? You're going to attack with both? If I block both, are you going to put this dude in the trash can? I bet you will. You're going to bring him back, discard your last two? You know what? I'll do it. I'm game. Hold on a second, guys. Oh god, we didn't. Oh god, we didn't. We didn't loot. That's eh, fine. They get to go. They get to make two dudes. Whatever. I mean, that's fine. We're at ten now. We get to double scry. So. Oh, they didn't actually discard their hand. I'm okay with it. Argumentative schnauzer is going on. Wow. Wow. That's something right there. Okay, put you on the bottom, and let's check it again. Um, You're not super exciting. Yeah, you can go on the bottom, too. That's less. That's even less exciting. Make one. Makes a one-one. Yeah. All right. Cool. Oh yeah, we're back in it, boys. There it is. There it is. Well, at least we get to draw two next turn. Man, was putting that steel oversee on the bottom. Greedy. I don't think so. Scriptures and antiquities all together doesn't seem that great because yeah, they are all four drops. I'll go to nine. I mean it's a one one and a two one, right? That's pretty good. Don't be a land. And you were a land. Don't be a land. You are also a fucking land. That's amazing. <laughs> Yo, what a horse's ass. I'm going to keep getting in there because us it's a four-point life swing versus a three-point. Oh, God. What's just happening? Are you going to Elder Deep Fiend? Blah. Wow, I felt real good about this, too. In other words, please be true. Wow, this is... This is disgusting. So we're taking six and going to three. Yes, we'll take it. God, don't have another one. If they have another one, I think that's just that's just the end of the line. I 
I mean, we've drawn six lands in a row, right? Block here, we take four, we don't die. In a row? <laughs> Try not to draw any lands on the way to the parking lot. <laughs> Oh, they did it during our main phase, so they get their alert. Yep, that's going to do it. Oh, I was feeling really good about that, too. Well, now we're bringing in Ashiok. <laughs> oh, God. Just take out one of you. Take out the touches. I don't think I like the touches that much. 25 lands doesn't feel like a lot when we have no real way to, to get more lands. Plus we have a bunch of 5 and 6 drops too, so... I kind of like Hostage Taker in here. It steals lots of things, and then we get to cast lots of things. Let's take out the Overseers. Do you like turtles? I like turtles. I'll keep this hand. Basic land shark. Thank you so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate you. What up, Zimini Pot? Should be called my drunk uncle Gary's touch because it feels that bad. Wow. Jesus, Luke. My bad for not following. Yeah, I, I blame you, basic land shark. Maybe if you were a more advanced land shark, we wouldn't have this problem. That's my theory. But I forgive you. We can get through this together. New PC, who dis? Uh, this is Frank. Three mana card. That's that's a land. Jesus, these lands are just destroying us. I consider myself an actual sized fan. Well, that's your right. All right, now I'm looking for three drops that fit fit the artifact slash enchantment criteria. Oh, wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you guys waiting a minute? Okay, I got... Guys, we're doing something. What the fuck? Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. That's rude. That's rude.
That's messed up. You, sir, are scum. But I don't even care. I'm taking this. Give it to me. Baby. Yep. Ship it. <sighs> Not cool, zesty testies. <laughs> Your testes aren't even that zesty, I bet. I'm jealous of that name, wow. Well, you know what they say. You can't all have zesty testes. That's what they tell me. Guys, I think I have the tech, but I'm going to surprise you with it in the next match. Surprise tech from Pro Gamer. Stay tuned. <laughs> what did they just do? Did they fail push their own? Oh, now they're going to fail push this too? Wow. God. The, the tech is really strong. Now they're going to play Scrap Heap Scrounger. And it's just going to be... Oh, they didn't do anything. Okay. You know what? I guess we'll cast this. Yep. That's pretty good. I'm still doing research over here, guys. We're still researching. Scrappy boy, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see what we draw, ready? Okay. Okie dokie. God, Jesus. What's happening right now? Are we 03 right now? God. Tesseret's touch, you gotta go. Here's what we're gonna do. I don't even have that Dovin. Shit. I guess this was also, Arena was also available at this time. I played Frank one time at a PCQ? When was this? How long ago was this, man? That had to be years ago. Ninety-one cents for this hot garbage? I'll do it. Josh, I'm still having a good time, man. I think the exercise of like finding these cards for Pioneer has been fun and by itself, so I wouldn't even worry. Don't even sweat it, my dude. Look at this Dovin. Until the end of turn, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, put a loyalty counter on him. Create a one-one Thopter. So you can go Smuggler's Copter into Dovin, make a 1-1, one, one, and then crew. Um, Steel Overseer gets a little better because this guy makes makes my dudes. Was that sealed at Cool Stuff many, many years ago? Wow, that had to be ages ago. That had to be like 
a thousand years ago. Oh, I'm still looking for... Uh, I'm still going through the artifacts here. Whatever's mouth on a printer printer one one. Alright, so that's interesting. Without the um I'm gonna take these out. And I'll put in Nope, that's not the one castle. Let's look up castle instead. Put one Vantress and one Arden Vale in here. Huh? Hey, what do you think about that? And Okay, I'm still looking. Oh, I might just put in Scrap Heap Scrounger instead of these guys. I don't know, man. We don't have a ton of creatures to, to exile to bring back, though. Can I just play Swaggy Bay Bouncy? Which one's Bouncy Bay? Is that Restoration Angel? Because honestly, I think you can. You can't play Resto, but you can play Felidar Guardian. Wait, did they ban that cat? They did already, didn't they? Well. Steel Overseer, are you terrible? I'm looking for two drops here, guys. Give them decks artifacts and or non-aura enchantments. Oh, I guess there's no Thrag Tusk. There's no Thrag Tusk either, is there? I think I just lied to you about that whole thing. Well, let me check. Thrag Tusk? That dude is not legal in Pioneer. You can only play Sphinx's Revelation. You can play one of those three cards that you mentioned. There's a lot of there's a whole lot of brewing going on here, guys. A whole lot of brewings. Away again. Okay. Artifact. We're looking at artifact two drops again. I think we already did this, didn't we? Dang it, we did. Maybe there's just not enough. I don't think Emery's that good in the deck anymore. I know that's weird. I don't care. I don't think it's that great. We need we all our combo pieces, pieces that make things, right? Let's look up three drops again. white blue black okay okay we found Dovin I think that was a good hit non artifact spells you cast have improvised what if inspiring statuary is decent here you can tap your glass caskets interesting Stone coil is actually pretty decent. I don't think I have any stone coils on here, though. I lied to you. I have four stone coils. I kind of like that, actually. Let's try that. Let's add a fourth. I'm going to add another Dovin's Veto, which I don't think I have. Any, I don't think I actually have. So I'm going to go buy a Dovin's Veto. 
I do like a good stone coil. Three tickets. Oh, 28 cents. Nailed it. Large card pool, large large card pools overwhelm me until they get to the point where like I'm super familiar with them, like modern. Like modern, I'm really familiar with. So I'm like, it doesn't overwhelm me anymore because like now the additions to modern are like, oh, you added five cards to modern that are actually relevant per se, you know. So it's like modern's been around long enough where it's like not even a. Also, Stone Cold gets bigger with Steel Overseer too. What? My deck is falling apart as we speak. That's true. Yeah. All right, I'm going to keep this hand. This hand looks good. <laughs> oh, Lord. Good jeez. This hand seems great, right? This is exactly what we want to do. We're going to go turn two smuggler into turn three dove and make a, make a thingamajig. You need to refill. I know it's really. How did you know that? That's hilarious. Yeah, it's just ice in here now. One problem. Do you have a marble in there? I got ice in here, my dude. One problem I've had with this water bottle so far is that it just gets too tight. Like I'm just like, oh god. It's not a matter of like strength. It's a matter of the only part to grip it or to like get any sort of like torque is like this, this little yeti centerpiece here. This little bump. Oh wow, that's your scumbag. Yeah, there's like a lot of ice in this thing. This is all ice. Mono ice, my dudes. Jesus. I had a family. I'm gonna get rid of Tezzeret because he's just really expensive right now. <laughs> that is the mag that is the magnetized bump. That is correct. That's where I can take my lid off. I oh got it. Please don't. Oh, we're good. And then just, and then it just magnetizes onto the side of the, so you don't lose it. It's. I just. I keep showing this off because it's like one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. I was not expecting to like this water ball as much as I have, but it's pretty sweet. So. And we gain a life. Get out of here. Classic blooming marsh, blooming marsh. Carry added Coligon's command. What water bottle? It is a Yeti Rambler, which I, I don't even like saying because if you're not going to like sponsor me, then come on, Yeti. Frank has never seen magnets before. You see, I have seen magnets, but even as a grown ass man, magnets still are real amazing to me. I'm always like magnets are magnets are one of the things that like I love them. Wait, how did this go to... He starts at two? What a little baby. All right, so three mana walker doesn't go straight to eight. Uh, guys, I'm not used to it. Ah, uh, create another one, gain another life. Next turn we can do some things. Uh, I think we're just playing this guy. 
because it blocks here and there's no creatures in any graveyards yet. You also can't Coligon's command this gentleman. So. I'm already feeling like Dovin's okay so far. What is this you're sending me here? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, eat my Smuggler's Copter. Eat my, eat my Tezzeret. If you had an open bag of Twizzler bits for a while, how long before I shouldn't consume them anymore? <laughs> Keep in mind, these Twizzler bits are probably from about... I don't know, at least a month and a half ago, I would say. Oh, this is good, because they can get rid of our Steel Overseer, but that's pretty much it. They're not going to do that. They're going to get rid of, like, Tezzeret. Oh, they did get rid of the Steel Overseer, so now they got 3-3. Twizzler bits were a mistake. Like the rest of them. <laughs> Jesus, Luke. Where's your chill tonight, my dude? Alright, you ate it. They have one card in hand? We're f I'm feeling good. Unless they kill the Stone Cold Serpent, in which case we have to jump. Oh, that's not it. Oh, they we got this. This game is... This game is over. Come at me, bro. Oh, yeah, you're not coming at me, bro. Land. Holy smokes! <whistles> Where X is the number of artifacts you control? Shoot, I got three. We scheming now, boys. Candy corn is a shame to... Can oh, fuck. And that was when we broke up, guys. That was when we broke up. And no, nothing. Oh shoot. Okay. Are you gonna kill my stone cold serpent? Don't do it. They did it. That guy had a family. No, don't like that. That dude had a family. Make one of you. Make another make another bird job. Play you ta untapped so you can go this guy, this guy, Steely Boy. This guy, this guy, treasure mappy. And now we're just now we're just crushing it. And we're gonna go attack one at Shandi. Attack one at your face. More of a red vines guy, huh? <laughs> well, okay. Are you guys ready? I think this game's over, right? Yeah, you can go on the bottom. Nobody likes you. What about now? Anybody like you now? Oh yeah, everybody likes you. You're a friendly gentleman. Five five seems fair. Nope, you stay home. You stay home, my friend. I'd rather gnaw on the plastic parts of my car than eat candy. Jesus Christ. Wow. This is, this is painful to hear. You guys are being really... You guys didn't really... You guys are getting really unruly here. Oh. 
Okay, so we saw a bunch of junk. I kind of want to take Steel Overseers out and bring in these Kaya's Wraths, because I feel like this is going to be a creature-based deck. So mad. Uh. I don't like this hand. Do you guys like this hand? I don't like it. I like this one worse. Guess we're going to five. Well, they went to six, so. I'm like, go to five. I'll go to five, too. Gentlemen's five. I mean, technically, we got two chances for there to be a land on top. And then we can find a third with the treasure map, so. Maybe we just keep on six. How greedy is this? 25 lands? We still got 25 in here? Oh, we went down to 24. Dang it. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. All this candy hostility is a real downer. Everybody's supposed to love candy. Wow. You guys are supposed to love candy! Um. How do I do a poll in the chat? Yeah, let's bring it up. Click on that. Where'd it go? Close this? No, go away. No, I can't find it now. Is it broken? Shit. You going to five here? Fine, I'll go to five. I don't even care anymore. Keep this stupid five hand. I'm getting rid of art. Mm, ugh. I like that though. We got turn two, turn three, turn four. Go to the Kaya's Wrath. And I guess Glass Casket. It's so bad. I hate it. I hate it. Dang it. Both these come into play on tap though. We got a lot of colors. Hey, that's not too bad. You know what? Hey, you know what? Oh, we got the Kaya's Wrath back. We basically won the game. Castle Vantress is a little awkward. E hat we playing Pwonir. I don't even know what that means, Water Gold Love. Come on, buddy. Get it together. What are you gonna do? You're gonna thought seize my five card mulligan? That's that's immature. <clears throat> oh, you took my detention sphere. Oh, whoa. How do you guys feel about York Pemberton patties? Fucking. They're the most solid candy ever. Are you guys trying to catch the sensation up in this chat? York peppermint patties in the chat. Oh, that was amazing. That was like the best draw I could have ever gotten. Best candy is Reese's Cups or Peanut M&M's. Peanut M&M's are shit. They're the most boring candy that people just happen to like. Reese's Cups are legit, though. No joke. Really? You can't get what I... Of course I can get what you said. I was just making a joke, man. You said, what we playing, Pioneer? Yeah, of course I get it, man. This is a joke. These are just jokes, my dude. I'm just giving you a hard time. That's all. It's okay. Um. Yes. I'll take it. Oh, no. It's going to come to play tapped. No! I made a terrible mistake. 
Shit. Okay, we're done here. You didn't answer? Yeah, we're playing Pioneer. Hazelnut anything is pretty good. Have I had a Toblerone? Yeah, of course, man. What am I, a savage? All right, I think we won this game, too. I'm going to put you on the bottom, because I don't care about you. I think this is worth it. Uh, you're going to come and play tapped? Mm, it's not terrible, actually. Do I need it? No. I can use one clue for that and not... One, two, three, four... Actually, let's just play Lady. And then next turn we can Thopter Spy Network and get a, get a token off of it. <clears throat> oh, dang it. That was the risk. Like, that was the risk we run. If they're just holding any removal spell, then it's rough, but... Ooh, fascinating. I'm so excited to finally play the Stopter Spy Network, my dudes. Andes are delicious as well. I'm a big fan of Andy's candies and New York peppermint patties. I want them patties and them candies. What is this now? Oh, it's a questing beast. Well, I guess we can just kind of wrap that dude away. Unfortunately, we lose our little gentleman as well. Black source? No black source. We actually have to use this last treasure. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Or we can just noxious gear hulk it. This is the first time we're ever casting a noxious gear hulk. Oh, okay, he's just leaving. That's cool. That's real mature. But the thing is, if we if we cast the Noxious Gear Hulk, we're probably not going to cast the Kai's Wrath. If we cast the Kai's Wrath first, we also, we also hinder their mana a little bit. Which I do like. We do need another Black Source here. White, white. I mean, this is what's going to happen either way. That's going to be our... Yeah, all right. I'm a Kai's Wrath. Water Gold Love. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate the follower. A follow, the follow. I don't even know what I said there. Follower. I feel like it's a follower. What's an after eight? What the hell is that? What is that weird candy you just named? After eight, black source one time. Thank you. That's all we wanted. And now, give me that four life, my dude. This is a May ability. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, you can take whatever. You can take whatever you like. You're going to take Tezzeret, though, because that dude is strong. They did. They did take Tezzeret. Make a guy. Oh, we get to draw a card here? getting hot <laughs> I had some when I was Ireland wow you were Ireland that's insane 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we're just gonna play Milady. Dude, the smell of this leftover oatmeal is so strong, dude. It's like it's like cinnamon cinnamon fragrance just, just permeating my room. Make a dude. Draw a card. Oh, what up, Block? Does Mike B consider Braveheart historically accurate? You know, that's a good question. It's a good question. Oh, we're actually out of basic lands. Boy, joke's on us, I guess. Still get to draw a card. You'll never stop the Inquisition. Ooh, it's your boy. One, two. Um. Land. One, two, three. Oh, can't do that. All right, so one, two, and then we have to use a white source. So I guess we're going to be castle one. Yeah, we're going to castle Ardenvale here. What up, cube is better. <sighs> Guys, I am hungry. I'm going to go get some food after this. And then we're going to come back later. Um, Okay, that's fine. And then we're going to play some Fallen Order. How do you like that? And then I still got to write my article for tomorrow. Wow, this dude is brutal. They have one card in hand. We have a Planeswalker and a Thopter Foundry. That's pretty good. Our Thopter Foundry not going to do anything yet, though, but that's okay. Wait, did we mess up? Oh, we messed up. We don't have double blue or double white. We totally tapped the wrong stupid land. If we tap this instead, we'd have blue blue. Oh, man, we're so bad at this. We're so bad at this. Create a 1-1. One, one. Okay. Well, now we can do whatever, though. We give them a turn, but like, I don't know. What a dummy. What an absolute dummy. All right, do we make a 1-1 one, one, or do we scry? Let's scry. I'll keep you on top. You can go on the bottom. Plus one. Actually, the one one might be better here just because it also triggers Dovin, which is great. Man, this gives us a card and a, a loyalty counter for Dovin. What a time to be alive. What? Well, they have no cards in hand. And our hand is pretty stacked against most things that they could present to us. I think we fixed... I think the deck is actually... Sweet now. I think Dovin was a great addition. It's a card that stays on the board. It makes artifacts. Um, it gains you some some inc incre incremental life. It uh, combos well with Thopter Foundry and Tezzeret. Uh, and it crews Smuggler's Copter. And it's also good to Steel Overseer. I 
Oh my god, the scooping into cult fall like I saw your comment on YouTube, dude. I was like I felt so stupid after that. I was like, this is unbelievable. Let's keep ticking up. Let's get Dovin up to that like plus seven hundred. Oh, they have no cards in here. We get to draw another card. Come on, just stop it. Uh, I, I think cast out's just worse than detention sphere. Oh yeah, our opponent had absolutely nothing at that at the end that game. Next turn, we'll have 10 mana, so we can scry to and make a 1-1. One, one. Oh, they're dead. Well, they're going to play it out. I believe in you. Plus them. <laughs> Every time I get a Facebook message and it just pops up and there's like a big link with a with a with a pop culture character in it, I'm like, oh that's Goblin Nick for you. Yeah, the thing is you want enchantments and artifacts for Alayla, which which is why you're limiting your uh your interaction speed. I would actually probably add one more Thopter Spy Network. It's not legendary, and like it's pretty good. Stone Cold Serpent is also a nice, a really, really nice versatile thread here. I would take one Alila out. I think this is probably the deck I'd go with. Like this deck seems really sweet. Um, Castle Vantress I might cut for something else because we do want to cast Kaya's Wrath, but I also think it's fine. Yeah, I don't know. This deck seems sweet now. I don't I don't know if it's great. I don't know if it's a, it's it's obviously not tier one, but I think it's I think it's tier fun for sure. And um I, I think it's definitely worth picking up and giving a go. Josh, I think we actually found something sweet, and um I, I kinda like where we ended up. I think the original cards you had in there were these. These these um i added this and one more spy network i added the i added all the three drops and i added this and this or wait i oh no i started mixing it up um oh no we went from things that were in the deck originally to not in the deck originally uh yeah you guys can go over here two treasure maps can go over here yeah so i think i think this is what we added and this is where we originally were so we actually changed half the deck but I mean, we also changed it completely, like through the different through the different matches too, which is really sweet. And I think, I think I like where we are now. I think it's got a good amount of card advantage between Detention Sphere and Glass Casket. It actually has a good amount of removal. Also, Noxious Gear Hulks. Um, Thank you. Dovin's great. It's just like make a guy block, make a guy block. Like, I think it's pretty sweet. I think I think it was fun. But. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. If you guys want me to have, if you want to check out your own deck, I can do that. Uh, I've been doing uh, $30 until the end of the year for any sort of deck critique, modern pioneer standard. So if you're interested in that, it's a great way to support the channel and uh, get a nice little discount on it as well. And uh, you can also check out manatraders.com. They are an amazing sponsor of the stream. They have a great subscription service. You can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. And also check out coolstuffinc.com. You can get 5% off with promo code FRANK5. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you later.